Hi there, and welcome to this video on the dentistry interview focusing on the topic of data interpretation. I'm Connell from Dentist Mind, where we go through important topics of the dentistry interview. Whatever university you're applying to, multiple mini interview or panel, we've got you covered. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button. Whilst you're watching, please leave any comments below if you're unsure about anything at all. We've got helpful timestamps below for each part of the video to help guide you. The following video is a free sample of our full interview course, which you can buy by clicking on the link down below in the description. So let's get started. Approaching data interpretation. Interview lesson five. How should you approach data interpretation stations? Important aspects of data interpretation. Read the question and take your time to get your bearings correct. Get the simple stuff right. You should always make sure, first of all, that you understand the title and the axis of the data. Without this information, it's a bit of a non-starter. There are various types of graphs. Commonly, they use the um, line graphs. It's a bit like the UK cat in a sense. The actual question isn't hard. The graphs aren't going to be impossible for mere mortals to extrapolate data from. The challenge is from the time pressure. The graphs are generally simple, therefore look for simple answers. Draw appropriate conclusions from the data. This is done by initially ensuring you understand the title and the axis of the graph. You find you're struggling for something to say? Simply describe what you see. Probably You, you probably know more than you realise. It's similar to those um, descriptive communication stations we had earlier. Describe what you see in a clear and concise language and you can't go too far wrong. Start with understanding what the data is for. What is the context in which the information is being presented? What year is the information from and what areas is it looking at? Can any obvious conclusions be drawn at first glance? It might be that there's clear upward or downward trend that can be identified immediately. Generally, it will be something very obvious from the offset. I, there's not going to be any trick questions really. Are there multiple graphs? Tackle graphs one by one and then look at both graphs together and see if there's any correlation between the two. Use pen and paper. That's what you'd use in a maths exam. Why wouldn't you do the same here? Labeling the information you're given in concise notes might help you when you're formulating your answers and also will make sure you don't leave anything out. But if you're not given pen and paper, don't worry. Everyone will be the same. Use examples throughout. Even if a question is about explaining a trend, you still want to use the data. And ask for more data if you want. For example, if a graph measures a trend of patient compliance over five years in London, say to really give a better answer, you'd want data from 10 years for the entire of the UK for a better, a better understanding. The more data, the more information and the better answer. Look at Mark Zuckerberg, he's got all the data and with it comes all the knowledge, money and power. A step-by-step -step strategy for data interpretation. So obviously read the data. If you aren't given reading time, still read the data. Politely tell the examiner uh, you plan on doing so. Make sure you have a grasp of what the context of the graph or chart is and look for obvious trends before delving deeper. Respond in detail. As much detail as you can give in these stations will surely improve your mark. This is, a t this is testing whether you can extrapolate data, but it's also testing how well you communicate what you know. You'll spend five years at dental school learning all the jargon, but once you start work, you have to work out a way to translate all this jargon back into simpler terms so patients know what you're talking about. If you have a good idea what the graph is about and know what you want to say, don't hang, hang about and wait for a follow-up question. Get stuck in, describe what it is you're seeing and think of the possible reasons for this trend that you've spotted. The examiner will stop you and redirect you if he feels you're going off the mark. Use numerical data. The evidence is there. Use it to support your answers and statements. This shows you've read and understood the information properly. Lesson five, completed. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe by clicking down below and please leave a comment. Click here to continue watching our interview series and to unlock the full access to 70 tutorials covering core interview topics, multiple mini interview mocks, top tips and more, click on the link in the description below now.